Have we eliminated the threat? I didn't have to, Finch. Samaritan's still doing our job for us. Who to kill this time? No one. Just made sure a wannabe bomber got arrested, and Fosco said the precincts had a banner day. I still think this could be a good thing, boys. We could take a little vacay. I mean, I know I could use some fun in the sun. How about it, Harold? You are looking kind of pasty. This is the calm before the storm, Miss Shaw. The only question is, when will the sky open? It's looking overcast, Harold. Where are you, Ms. Groves? Downtown. She sent me GPS coordinates that fall inside the shadow map. I think she wants me to find someone important. I just don't know who. I forgot how much I love surprises. Tell me what you're looking for, lovely. Maybe I can help you find it. No phone, no weapon. I'm disappointed. I didn't see a need for either today. Samaritan may be a god, but you're just flesh and blood. There's no need for threats, Miss Groves. I'm here because Samaritan wants me to be. You have a message for her? Samaritan would like to have a conversation with your machine. <laughs> How terribly sweet that you could think I'd have a say in what she'll do. Or not do, in this case. But you're the only one who can speak directly to the machine, are you not? Why does Samaritan want to speak with her? What would be the point other than mutually assured destruction? Samaritan is ready for a peace talk. Peace talks are for negotiating. What's changed? I'm only at liberty to ask for a conversation. Samaritan would be wasting her time. The answer's now. Please look for me again once you've changed your mind. You're very confident for a lackey, Mr. Lambert. Samaritan wanted to show your machine what the city looked like under its control. Peaceful. Organized. Now you'll see what life is like through a less charitable looking glass. started to rain, Harold. Fuck, Charlie. Good How could you do this? Don't even think about lying. Rude. How's my favorite prisoner? Better than the rest of you. Trains are down all over town. There are traffic outages everywhere in the city, and the crime rate has spiked 50% since yesterday. Samaritan is making itself known. Shot spotter ID'd over 20 gunshots in the last two hours, and I don't even want to guess how many of those ended up in a homicide. Three, according to Lionel. Samaritan's turning people against each other, revealing their secrets, unlocking doors that were never meant to be opened in the first place. I got a feeling you and the three amigos know who the guys are that did this. And if you get to them before I do, I want them to go down hard. What happened to you? I was able to rescue one of our numbers, but I'm afraid his office building wasn't so fortunate. There was a bit of an explosion. How long can we go on like this, Finch? We've already lost six. Seven. Look, if Samaritan wants to sit down, I think it's time we do. Aren't we supposed to be saving lives here? Look at what's happened to this city today. If this conversation goes badly, imagine what it will look like when two gods go to war. It's not our choice to make, Harold. I got a message from the machine. She says it's time. <laughs> 